So now in this video, we're going to use NAND gates to make an AND gate. So the uh, NAND is a universal logic gate. You can make any of the other logic gates as long as you have enough NAND gates. We're going to use one NAND gate to make a NOT gate. And then connecting the NAND gate to the NOT gate will end up with an AND gate. For our NAND gates, we're going to use an integrated circuit. So this is a quad. There's four NAND gates on there with uh, two inputs. So I already have the inputs to the positive rail on the left side. We're going to use the two NAND gates on the uh, right side here. So we have the supply pin at the top, the other supply pin at the uh, bottom left over here. But uh, one pin down, we got input, input, output, and then input, input, output, and the output has an LED. We'll see it light up when the output is high, when it's as close to five volts as it can be, it will not be lit up when the output is zero. The power is turned off right now, but uh, we're using five volts, as you can see right there. So to make this lower NAND gate into a NOT gate, all we have to do is tie its two inputs together, and then it will work just like a NOT gate. So NOT gate takes a high input and outputs low, or takes a low input and outputs high. So all we have to do is uh, I'm going to take a, a blue jumper here, put it from uh, one input directly to the other. Now they are tied together and we turn the NAND gate into a NOT gate. So now for the uh, rest of the uh, circuitry we have the NAND gate up here. The three pins with uh, nothing attached to them. So I'm going to take red jumper wires and first we're going to start with a low input to both of the uh, inputs, I should say. A low signal to both of the inputs. They're directly to the negative rail there. And you can see I kind of bumped into the positive there. That's why I uh, have the power supply off. That would have been a short circuit from positive to ground. And uh, luckily there's short circuit protection with that power supply. It just would have cut the uh, power. But uh, that's why you make sure and cut the power when you're building circuits. Although sometimes I build them with the power on. Now, we have those. We need to put the output to the input. Output of the NAND gate to our now NOT gate. So, the uh, integrated circuit, it is a NAND gate, but we wire it up to turn it into a NOT gate. So, the output is down here, third pin down, and then the single input now, since they're tied together, right there. It is that simple. So now we have an AND gate and we can test that. So the property of the AND gate is that both inputs have to be high for the output to be high. And I will grab the power supply there. You can see there's no current flowing. If we left those pins floating, there would be a little current. So that uh, stops wasted current. And they're both to the uh, negative rail. I'll put one to the positive rail the LED, the power supply is off. So I'll hit the uh, power button. There we go. So let's put that back to a negative. So we got a low input at both of them. Now we got one of them high. It's still off. We will make the other one high right now. And I'll move it over here so it's a little easier to see. So we got uh, one high, one low. It's still off. So now this is floating. So that's actually rapidly turning on and off. But uh, we'll put it to high. So you want to really go from directly from low to high. Usually you use either a pull up or pull down resistor to uh, accomplish that. But uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. So there you can see we have uh, both inputs high and the output is high. That's what the AND gate is. Whereas if any input is low, this is floating. So it's turning on and off half the time. That's why there's half the uh, current. But uh, So you don't want to leave it floating. But there you go. If any of the inputs are low, the output's low. That is an AND gate right there. So hopefully that all made sense. This is my quick video series. So I'm going through this quickly. I cover these topics in more detail in other videos. Actually, I don't think I've done this topic yet. I'll try to do one in uh, more detail later on. But in uh, any case, check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Check out the links down in the description. If you can donate, donate to Patreon. That would help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.